Hello everyone and welcome. The Newport Beach Film Festival 2017 has just ended yesterday and now I'm back to going to the movies, to seeing the big blockbusters, indie films on my own and this is my latest movie review. So welcome to my review of The Circle. This is one film that I've been wanting to see for a while now. It did get released this weekend. It's got an impressive cast, an impressive crew, but what is it about? Well, we meet a young girl who's played by Emma Watson. She has a lot of drive. She's got friends. She's got family she's close to, but she wants she has a passion for life and she wants to work for a great company and thanks to a friend of hers she gets to work at the circle which looks like it's combined of apple and google and everything that's internet everything that's part of our lives today in our hands or watching tv or on the computer the world has come closer together and is that a good thing or a bad thing well the rest of the film stars of course tom hanks he is the man in charge of this company he's the one that helped has helped create it other f actors in the film are played by John Boyega from Star Wars, Eller Coltrane from Boyhood. Haven't seen him in a movie for a while. The parents of Emma Watson's character are played by Glennie Headley, very lovely actress, and the late, great Bill Paxton. Um, also, the film is Kellen Gar uh, G Gellin? Karen, Karen, Karen Gellin, Chad from Guardians of the Galaxy, and she's a lovely actress in her own right, and Beck makes an appearance too, so there you go. Um, that rounds up the cast remotely. Now, was that the right word? No, that rounds out the cast entirely, I think, about, roughly. There you go, roughly, okay. That's the word I'm for, roughly. Okay, so, the main reason I wanted to see this film, I am impressed with this filmmaker. I don't know how many films he's made since, uh, this film, I mean, sorry, he's made, I don't know how many films he made before they made this film, but I think he's a great director with The Spectacular Now, The End of the Tour, and Smashed, so I was really looking forward to seeing him in the film, and I like the concept, it looked very interesting, but just a few weeks ago or so, Bill Paxton passed away, maybe it's been a month, see, when did he die, let's see, I can't remember exactly when he died, gosh, February, he died at the end of February, and I want to get into this review, of course, but I have to talk about Bill Paxton really quick. The guy was one of the greatest actors and seemed to be one of the greatest human beings who ever lived. Now, honestly, I did not know him personally, of course. But from what I heard from people that I, I, I had some, I knew some people that actually did work with him and just set, thought he was just an incredible actor and a credible human being. But I only know him as an actor, of course, and somewhat as a personality, you know, through interviews that I've seen and stuff like that. But as an actor, I just thought he's one of the best. I thought he was a great person on screen, great characters. He was a part of so many amazing films, True Lies, Aliens, The Terminator, Apollo 13. And so I was really excited to see this movie now, mainly just because it's the last film he was ever in. And the movie is dedicated in his honor. So I just loved Bill Paxton as an actor. I really wish I got to know him as a real person. Uh, seems like he was an awesome man and uh, a great person to, to know in real life. And I'm glad I got to know him through the movies. Okay, so The Circle, it's centered in a not-too-distant future. I think, I believe, it deals with stuff that we can we already have, of course, or the technology that we already have. Uh, it deals with technology that I think people are working on, and it deals with technology that I believe will be coming probably in the next future or so, within the next 10 to 50 years. I think that's what's so scary about this movie, is that some of the ideas it explored are very fascinating, thrilling, thought-provoking. Uh, there's a lot of moral questions this movie raises about privacy, about choice, some things that I hold in here and dear. As you know, I know I have all this great technology in my home, and I'm, I'm grateful for it. Uh, I feel very uh, happy to have it. I'm wondering now, could I live without it? Could I live without these things? And so it examines some of those questions in a very interesting and uh, moving way. But, you know, the movie doesn't really work as a movie altogether. I didn't like the way the film was paced at times. I felt a little bit of, with the editing. And uh, as we get to know this really interesting place... That could exist and probably does exist in some capacity. 
I thought Emma Watson did a fine job, even though she's playing an American, and I could feel like, I could hear, sound like her accent was ever coming out every once in a while, so that was kind of annoying from time to time, uh, but she was a nice character, and I thought Tim H Tom Hanks was, was good in the film. Overall, everybody's pretty good in the film. Uh, I, some of the relationships that she has with uh, other cast members are good. I, I, there's a, there's there's something that goes on uh, between her character and the John Boyega character that I didn't feel was fleshed out enough. Uh, to maybe it's it, you know this movie's based on a book, so I'm guessing in the book there's a lot more going on in the book, and that's where my major complaint comes from. Because I will tell you, I did like this movie, even though I think it's extremely flawed, and and it's just too short. It's just too short because I think a story like this to really dig deep into it. You've got to make it into a miniseries or a television show. I think hopefully in the future there's some movies, of course, that uh, were based on books that eventually do become television shows. And they, I think they get a, uh, enough time to, if, they, if they're successful, they get a, enough time to really dig into these characters. Because I felt it was a really rush for time um, scenario overall i just felt like we were like we got to hit this base we got to get this base and then hopefully by the end of the movie everything uh will make sense and work out and i i i felt uh that there was elements into this story that were so captivating the ideas of manipulation the ideas of m making things mandatory especially making things mandatory like you have to vote for something and those ideas popped in my head and was like, I, I like the idea of choice. I hope it lasts a long time, at least as long as I'm living. The idea that I, I get to choose what I want to do with my life and not have the things be put upon me and tell me that if I don't do that, I'm going to go that place. I'm going to go there. I know there's a lot of things in our lives that are taken away from us. The, the idea, the not the idea, but the the chance to choose what we want to be a part of and what we not want to be a part of. I, I, I fear that that's, you know, I don't, again, this is just a movie, but of course it's dealing with ideas that are here, they're being worked on, or they are coming, you know? And so I think there's a lot of interesting ideas. So I think probably the book handles it better and is more provocative with these ideas and maybe it makes more sense and is more interesting and leaves more imagination to the viewers. But as a movie, I think they're really rushed for time because the movie is under two hours. And I think this idea, these ideas, this story, these characters could have been served better if it was told over a period of maybe three or four seasons of television. Good television, not this ABC, CBS, NBC crap. Maybe something like on HBO or Showtime or even on Netflix. I, I, I think that maybe in the future, within the next five years, this story could be told in a much better way in a long format instead of just a short format within a short period of time. So I like the film. I just wish... I just wish... It was just so. It wasn't so condensed, and left me a little disappointed. But there were moments, lots of moments in the film where it made me think. It. it uh, I have a lot to process from what I've watched. Um, I. I was uh, a little. I got a little emotional. You know, some of these ideas uh, that they propose in this film. So the movie did work more than half of the time on me i just wish it worked on full time because i think this movie could have been an amazing film but overall i thought it was a pretty good film just something that i think deserved to be told better i i just i i, I just again i'm repeating myself the movie was good but i think a television show would have been much much better for this maybe the book maybe i should just go check out the book all right everyone i will give the circle I will give it three stars out of four. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and share this video. And also, please check out these amazing movie websites. And if you enjoyed this review, please click here to subscribe to my channel. And also, please check out all my recent reviews right here on YouTube. Have a great day. Live film. Find peace, happiness, and harmony in anything and everything you do. And I'll talk to you at my next movie review.